the three biggest uh, problems that people bring to me are uh, I forgot my password to Ledger Live. I forgot the pin to my device. I forgot my passphrase. So we start with, I forgot my password to Ledger Live. I forgot the pin to my device and I forgot my passphrase. Those are the big three forgots, right? Well, the first one, I forgot the passphrase to Ledger Live is a sort of an easy fix. You're going to have to wipe Ledger Live, reinstall it, and then, uh, you know, re-add all of your accounts from scratch uh, because you cannot reset the password into Ledger Live. Um, that is somewhat technical, but it's not a deal breaker. You haven't lost your crypto. Um, and then if you forget the pin to your device, well, that's a little more extreme, right? If you forget the pin to your device, you're going to have to do a reset on your device by entering the pin incorrectly three times, which is usually where they're at, right? I forgot my pin. I've tried twice. Now it's telling me it's my last chance. Well, you're going to have to reset that device, uh, reboot the device in factory mode and restore from your seed phrase. Uh, and that's somewhat technical, right? Um, you stand the chance of screwing things up, right? Maybe you wrote that seed phrase down wrong. Maybe you can't find that seed phrase. So, but it's not impossible, right? So those two scenarios um, are technically challenging. So the, the people that are forgetting their, the, the password to Ledger Live and the password to their, and the pin for their device are not the type of people that are really good at these technical solutions, but they're out there. And then the third one, I forgot my passphrase. Well, that's it. Boom. It's gone forever, right? There is no coming back from I forgot my passphrase. So uh, it's harsh, but that's self-custody. That's what self-custody is all about, being totally responsible.